Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, we're in huggingface.co slash chat. We're hugging chat. This is a new chat GPT competitor. And more importantly, it is completely open source. It's easy to use. I'm gonna put a link in the description below so you guys can use it. And uh, if you're in one of the countries that's currently banned ChatGPT or is looking to ban ChatGPT, this is a way for you to get similar functionality uh, and uh, not have to worry about getting in trouble. So keep that in the back of your head. Alternatively, if you like ChatGPT but you're concerned that you know it seems to be a black box and you don't know how it's doing what it's doing and where your data is going, here's an open source alternative. Okay, with that preamble out of the way, here we go. So huggingface.co slash chat, links in the description below, and you'll see a few options here. One of them is, of course, you can just create a new chat. And then here's your prompt. Oops, let's try that again. Right down here, you see you can ask anything. It has a few examples ready to go. And one of the things I really like about Hugging Chat is it's very good at coding. So if you're a developer and a coder, like I just clicked on one of its, it's one of its basic suggested prompts. Code, code a basic snake game in Python, give explanations for each step, and look at that. It is chewing up some Python, it's spitting it out, and it's explaining it as it goes. This is pretty wild. So this is just one example of what you can do with it. Another few other things I want to show you. Let's go ahead and I'm going to stop generating because you guys can see that this clearly works for that type of thing. I'm going to click on new chat up at the top left here. And then a few other things. One, we can click on this button here that says model page. When you do that, it opens up another browser. It tells you exactly what open source model it's using. So this one's using, I guess, Llama, which is uh, <laughs> Llama, uh, 30 billion or 30B, which means 30 billion. And then I guess it's version six. I don't know exactly what all those letters stand for but it looks like it's using the Llama models by Meta AI. And yeah, there we go. So right now I believe there's no commercial licensing attached. So keep in mind that this is just a beta and you can't really access it and you know commercialize it at this point. But if you're just looking for some chat GPT access, but you know, not chat GPT, uh, open source version of it, here you go. The other thing you can also look at data set page. So if you wanna see what kind of data it's working with, you can just go through that here. Here's an example of the JSON example message, the conversation tree for all you highly techie types. And uh, there you go. So uh, last thing, model page, I clicked on it briefly, but if you want to try a different model or you wanna look at some of the other models, this is very cool too. So I'm gonna click on open assistant here. And when I click on that, you'll see there's 12 other different models. I don't think you can connect them quite at this moment. I'm not 100% sure on that. But you'll see here, like there's the seven llama, which is another version that's probably coming out pretty quick here. Um, so there's a lot going on here. It's completely free. It's completely open source. Links in the description below. Let me know if you've used it, what kind of experience you've had with it. Thanks for watching.